Hello and welcome. I am Brand with Bad Tech Gaming. Today we have the DJI Mini 3 Pro and the accessories that go with it. Since I've had it, I've experimented with a ton of different accessories. So here's what you need to know to buy and really not to buy. Starting off, ND filters. You can change out the filter that's actually on your DJI Mini 3 Pro pretty easily. Remove your cover. You can actually just pop them off, twist and pop. I'm not gonna do it at the moment because I need to have my focus do it and I don't wanna break the gimbal, but very, very useful overall. There will be links in the description below for each of the products that we talk about in here today. Another one that people tell me that you have to have with your DJI Mini 3, or really any drone, is a helipad. This is really useful for times when you don't actually have a nice landing pad or landing zone uh, to land your drone in. Um, now, I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was a must-have at first. I have only used it a couple of times because, to be honest with you, after getting a hard shell case, I've really just used my hard shell case. Actually, that leads me to a good segue. Let's head on to the case. I've tried out a couple of different cases. I've emptied them out for this example. You have your soft shell case, which is kind of pliable and flexible, and then you have your hard shell case, which is tough. Now, the benefit to the soft shell case is it's a little bit smaller. It doesn't look like you're carrying around a firearm, so if you're walking in a public park, people aren't questioning you nearly as much. Um, and this particular one has a zipper mesh pocket. I personally like that very much. I actually rated this product on Amazon and wrote a review, a written review about it as well, if you'd like to find that. It does come with straps. However, the strap on mine here is not closing right. Now, that could just be uh, me instead of not everybody. Um, the It's not foam, it's actually like a rubberized, plasticky material on the inside with some sort of silky material to kind of house the drone, the controller. They all fit very nicely and snugly without issue or without fail. I'm not gonna lie, it does work pretty nice. The one I use the most is the hard shell case because this thing is robust. It's very hard, it has foam inserts and you can pull out what you have, what you don't have. Three slots for batteries, it has your battery holder. Not gonna lie, I usually just use this for GoPro and GoPro accessories because my batteries are most of the time charged up before I go anywhere. Beyond that, you have little accessory slots. You have below the controller, more accessory slots, but you do not get that net up top. So there is some downfalls, but this one, instead of zipping shut, locks airtight and has a strap with a foam piece. This one is more expensive than this, the soft shell case here. So at the end of the day, you decide where are you gonna go? Are you gonna need the hard shell crush resistant or is a soft shell look better and feel better for you? Another thing, I didn't necessarily think these were important. Something to cover the front of your drone that's not from the manufacturer. The difference being here is that this is actually just small enough, does slightly nick the gimbal every once in a while, whereas this one is bigger overall. Let's see if I can turn this around and show you, maybe give you a good idea here, and gives you just a little bit more space, which is nice for the gimbal. Um, I don't think this is a necessity. However, when I was traveling, uh, I did find that the lens on the gimbal here did actually pop off while it was in this case, that could be a possibility of damaging your camera, which is very important. And the biggest reason why you have a drone other than just the fun and flying it. So uh, maybe this might be a good $11, $12 investment. Next up, some sort of charger. Now, the one that DJI gives you is good, and it does actually show you what batteries are charged and how much they're charged. It's pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. However, it only charges one at a time, and it does take forever to charge them. It trickle charges them. So instead of buying this one, I went a little bit uh, out there in left field and bought this bad boy. This thing will actually charge four batteries at one time, plus it has two USB slots to charge your drone uh, if it has a battery in it, and, emphasis on and, your charger at your controller at the same time. Now, I take this out in the field with me as well whenever I'm actually flying, because if I start to run low on any batteries, I can charge up multiple things at once, as long as I have a Jackery present, because it does use a standard wall outlet to power this guy. If you're traveling, a good idea would be to get one of these. This is a fireproof bag, so to speak, so in case your battery decides it wants to catch on fire, highly unlikely, 
However, it's a good idea to have, and I think it actually might even be required by some airlines in certain instances. I'm pretty sure you have to fly with your drone batteries separated out from your actual drone and in some sort of case like this. Speaking of drone batteries, these are very important as well. I would recommend getting two. I don't think you need three. I have three currently. They're fairly expensive, but drone batteries, if you're not getting the shot that you want, you can go through these pretty quickly. They run roughly 30 minutes if you're using it any sort of actively, an hour and a half with three batteries, or you're looking at one hour if you just have two batteries. I honestly recommend getting one more battery because you're gonna be out there at some point, even if it's just for fun, and you're not gonna be able to get the shot you want because it's gonna wanna land. Planning on flying a DJI mini drone at night? You're gonna want one of these guys. This is actually a light. It attaches to an arm or the main body via rubber bands and all sorts of different mechanisms, including sticky adhesives as well. It's a strong LED light that can be seen from about three miles away, which is minimal required if you're gonna do anything at night. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't recommend flying without it anyway because it has its own separate battery from the drone. So if your drone dies, that battery can still be lit up and if you crash it at night in some tree somewhere, it's gonna be very nice to be able to find it. Okay, moving on to the controller. Your neck straps, which I do recommend because if you drop your controller, this is gonna be the kind of thing that will save it from falling. And guess what? According to federal regulation, you have to be in operation of your drone at all times. Not to mention, if you drop the controller and bump the wrong button, your, land, your drone may fly right into a tree and break permanently. So having something like this to save it from dropping and falling on the ground can be very useful. The thumbsticks themselves, I don't know that I honestly recommend the thumbsticks. They are a nice little add-on to add some fun and some flair onto your controller. However, they're not necessary. The one that the DJI Mini comes with in the box is just fine. Um, now, if you want to add a little bit of flair, by all means, grab them, but they're not necessary. Speaking of not necessary, LED props. These are cool. I haven't actually even used them yet. Hopefully, I'm gonna use them on my first nighttime flight, which will be here very soon, and I will make a YouTube short about it at least. However, I don't think these are necessary. They're cool, and while spinning, the videos show them being a lot of fun to use. And I have no doubt that that is true. However, they're not necessary for flight. If you're doing it for fun and recreation, or you wanna show up to some friends, great opportunity to buy those there. Other than that, I highly recommend you go out and you grab yourself just some regular props. The first time you land on anything uneven, your prop hits the ground, hits a tree branch, uh, hits some grass that's just thick, maybe it wasn't grass, maybe there was a rock hidden in there, something your prop will hit. You're gonna shatter these little things like no tomorrow. In the box, you get one set. I recommend buying a couple of more sets because you're gonna go through them unless if you are a fantastic driver. And that concludes some of the things you're going to need with your drone and some of the things you're just not going to need.